Yeah, man, this one go out to my bridge, you know. Delroy. He knows who he is. He knows he's going through. To the eye. There's not a son out there that God don't chastise. You have to play like a serpent. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a son out there that God don't chastise. You have to play like a serpent. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a son out there. That God don't chastise. You have to play like a serpent. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a son out there. That God don't chastise. You have to play like a serpent. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a son out there. That God don't chastise. You have to play like a serpent. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a fun all day. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a sun all day. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a sun all day. That God don't chastise. You have to play like a serpent. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a sun all day. That God don't chastise. You have to play like a serpent. Son, you have to be wise. There's not a sun all day. Like God don't chastise. You have to be a son of God to be chastised by God. And to be chastised by God is to be chastised in the morality of love, to understand that love is the key and the only way to, to the heart of God and to the hearts of man. So you can burn out the evil that is in the man them in front of you and bring them back to the righteousness where they were born with when they're children, when they're pure. And you remember that because you've known some of your brethren in the world that have turned evil over the afflictions that they went through in tried and tribulations. The experiences that they experienced in this life when they kind of just turned around and did the things that you did because we all grew up together in the same different areas which are poor, good or bad, a wicked man or a self-righteous one. Anyways, um, there's only one way to God's heart and that's to purify yourself and wash yourself clean in the sight of God. And the only way to do that is through His Son. And who acknowledges the Son? Acknowledges the Father. And if you acknowledge the Son alone, you must acknowledge the Father. But if you acknowledge the Father and you don't acknowledge the Son, you can't have none of Him. So let it be known to them that love God, you have to love His Son too. That is the only way to God. And you have to understand this with your heart because it makes you forgive your enemies and it makes your enemies forgive you. And it makes you live in peace and in righteousness and in happiness. To know that anything that comes against you in negativity in this lifetime, it has to be from the Lord up above. For He is in control of this life and He's in control of this creation that He's made. And He is the author of our book. And He has written this and so it shall be done. He has come into mind by the inspiration of God to talk to man, which is the word of God, which is the light of man, which is the light that came into the world, which is God's word that was spoken into the world to create the world, to make it the way it is, and to make his son the head of that creation, as you would do to your only son. Well, we know that God loves us because he gave, he gave his only begotten son for us, and we should love him also. And also did his son give himself freely and beg for no mercy. When Jesus was dying on the cross, he, he asked God not to forsake him. That means 
make sure that you give me all the afflictions and make sure you give me all the sins so I can go through it. So when time comes, when I'm in them by the Holy Ghost, we can take it together and to know that I already passed through this. So his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And we know that. So let us go through in righteousness. And be blessed and be happy in this. And to enjoy life again. And no more darkness. Read on diligently and learn to be children of God. In true fullness, they'll set you free. This is no lie, for I cannot lie because I'm a child of God. Be blessed, all children.